Hi, I'm Ray and welcome to Ray's Tech, where I will help you to build a budget-friendly smart home. In this video, we're going to talk about the Google Chromecast 3rd generation. So if you want to turn your TV into a smart TV, or a projector into a smart TV, or your smart TV into a smarter TV, you might be interested to get this device. So without further ado, let's get started. I have been using this Google Chromecast for over 3 months now. And I highly recommend this device especially if you are planning to buy a smart TV but you don't have a budget for that. For less than 1,800 pesos, it is a convenient device that plugs into the back of your TV and allow you to play content from YouTube, Netflix, Facebook, Spotify, and tons of compatible apps. And this Google Chromecast 3rd generation supports 1080p streaming at 60 frames per second. What you get right out of the box is the Chromecast itself, and it got really nice matte finish to it. It has a single micro USB port and a reset button on the back of the disc with an HDMI port that you plug into the TV and a power cable that you'll need to connect to either your TV's USB port or to the wall using the included wall adapter. It is pretty easy to set up this device. Just download the Google Home app. Once installed, you'll just need to tap Setup Device and follow the setup instructions. Finally, once you've assigned a name and a room to the Chromecast, you'll be ready to stream. Controlling the Chromecast is as easy as any given app makes it. For example, in Netflix, all you have to do is open the content you want to watch, press the cast button, and wait for your media to appear on your TV. From there, you can pause, play, fast forward, rewind, and adjust volume via your phone. Surprisingly, you're not actually streaming from your phone or any device to your TV. Chromecast is picking up a link to that content and playing it all by itself. That means you're free to use your laptop, tablet, or mobile device for something else. You can text, receive calls, open other apps, check emails, and other social media without interrupting what casting on your TV. And to stop casting, just go back to the app and tap your device, then press stop casting. Or you can ask your Google Assistant to stop casting. Then it takes you back to the backdrop. This backdrop or ambient mode is customizable. To customize what it shows on your TV, head into the Google Home app, tap your Chromecast device, then tap personalize ambient. Here, you'll get to choose whether to show specific albums from your Google Photos, selected art images picked by Google, or any experimental mode that pulls pictures from a variety of online sources and social networks. You can also add in the weather and time so that they are shown while ambient mode is on. Let's say you want your pictures to display on your TV. Pick the Google Photos option and pick any albums you like. Then it will now show the pictures or albums you selected whenever you are not playing anything. Pretty cool, right? The thing that I like about this Chromecast device is that I can use my Google Home Mini to cast content using my voice. So I won't have to pull out my phone. Instead, I can rely on simple commands like Play the minimalist Less Is Now from Netflix on TV. Sure, the minimalists. Less Is Now from Netflix. Playing on living room TV. There you go. Or, play Dance With You from Spotify on TV. Sure, Dance With You from Spotify. 
Playing on living room TV. And if you have any further questions about the Google Chromecast 3rd generation, please let me know by leaving a comment down below. And if you are interested to build a budget-friendly smart home, check out this video up here where I talk about the different smart devices that you can get to start your smart home journey. And if you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing by clicking my picture here down below because every week I'm going to be uploading new videos about tech reviews, unboxing, tips, and home automations. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you on my next video.